Um, thank you for joining me today. It's Russ Curtis, Professor of Counseling. This is one of my favorite near-death experience stories that I read uh, years ago. I think it was published in the early 90s, although the event happened in the 70s, the early 70s. Um, and so the book is Embraced by the Light. I recognize here I've only got Embraced by the Light. And I'll put the details below in the comment box. Okay, so this is a very detailed near-death experience. Um, uh, the woman died after having a hysterectomy. Uh, she said after dying immediately, her spirit popped out of her body, and it even the, her spirit went to her home where her husband was taking care of the kids to check on them. Uh, then she immediately went from there to kind of a pitch black space that she said she felt no fear. She just felt completely bathed in love. At that point, there was like a searchlight, is how she described it. It was a pinpoint of light in this pitch blackness. And it was like it was searching and it found her and spotted her. And she started moving closer to it and it got bigger and brighter. She eventually recognized this as Jesus. And she said she felt like she had known him forever. Um, she was also complaining to him. It's like, how could you let me come down to earth? That was so hard. I had to endure all this you know, terrible stuff. And he laughed saying, hey, you chose this and you endured it and you've grown as a result. You chose this experience. From there, uh, I believe it was her guide. Some spirit guides came and ushered her to this most beautiful garden, which is a real common feature of NDE experience, where she met family and past relatives. From there, she visited other worlds, and she said most of those memories uh, did not come back with her when she was on Earth, but she remembers giving a report when she was in other worlds and that they were giving her reports. I like to think it was kind of like, hey, this is what's going on on Earth. What's going on up here? <laughs> Um, I love this story, and I'm using her words. Uh, it's a chapter in a book called The Drunken Man, and it's also related to an attorney. But her guides were essentially saying, hey, you've been a little judgmental while you're down here, and I, we want to show you something. So they showed her this man who looked homeless on the you know, a corner of a street in a busy city, um, probably a, you know, suffering from addiction and so forth. And then they showed her his spirit, and they said it was the most bright, beautiful, glorious spirit uh, that you've ever seen, and that he came down here to inspire an attorney friend of his who was living at that time, um, because every time the attorney, and they had this kind of compact agreement here, is that every time the attorney would walk by this fella, it would remind the attorney to do good work, okay, to use his, his knowledge and skills to do good work for people in need. So I thought that was a really cool story. And then um, she said that she saw that all the prayers that we send up are like electrical sparks sent to heaven, to the universe, and that each one is uh, heard and answered in its own time, in the right way, all that good stuff. Um, she, uh, she did have a life review, another common feature of NDEs. She said Jesus comforted her during times when she was kind of, she found herself being judgmental when she was looking back at the, you know, the life review. And she's like, oh, I wish I hadn't treated that person that way. Um, she also talked about how every good deed and kindness you bring with you when you cross over. Uh, so I thought that was a pretty cool message that, wow, let's, let's be kind. Uh, she did talk and say that she pleaded with Jesus not to come back to earth, uh, that again, it was so hard and she felt so spacious and loved and open on the other side. And that when she did come back, she experienced a lot of depression, anxiety, even agoraphobia where she didn't want to leave the home. She prayed a lot about that. And, and she said she literally kind of felt a voice that she attributed to be God saying, Look for God in everything, the trees, the flowers, plants, people, pets, that God is in everything. And if you actively seek that out, that helps to heal you from all these ailments that we have. So anyway, a very cool story. I'll put, again, information in the comment box about how to access this. And let me know your thoughts, and we'll talk to you on the next video. Take good care.